Happy Monday, everyone. Everyone having a good Monday? Right. Oh, God. Not having a good Monday, guys. You're here now, so it's all right. Is anyone doing Sober October? Oh, guys, just me then. Got no mates. I've, I've made myself do it right. I'm not an alky or nothing, though my Instagram proves otherwise. But um, no, I was, I've been working away and I've been drinking heavily every night. Been in G-Bar doing the splits, winning 50 quid bar tab. So I thought, nah, got to do it. So I went to bed early last night, got myself a little Chinese. Woke up this morning and I thought, what else am I thankful for other than a gin and tonic? So anyway, I woke up and I started thinking. And I was like, I'm thankful for my Catholic upbringing. You see, I'm a dedicated Catholic, very dedicated in attending church every Easter Sunday just to get a free cream egg. <laughs> Who doesn't love a free cream egg? Now, I used to be an ulcer girl when I was younger and the priest would go, turn to him number 410 and it'd be a banger. And I was like, hey, ulcer girl, singing me little songs off. So I want to see who is a Catholic in here, okay? Are you with me? Right. This little ladder man, I'm going to let it shine. Let it, let it, let it. Right. I was going to say peace be with you because half of you didn't do it. All go and burn in hell. <laughs> All of us? How rude. Anyway, now, nah. it was all fun and games until I got taken to a school run by nuns. Right. So... <laughs> My form tutor, her name was Sister Mary Ann, and he used to put my hands up, and I'd go, Sister Harry Man, and she'd go, she'd go, yes, Hannah, can you imagine how buzzing I am, a little year seven, getting away with calling a nun a Harry Man? I used to love it, anyway. I also had this RE teacher, she was Irish, oh, and I was a bit naughty in school, a bit of a rat, and I was dying, I was dying, I was dying for food, so I just... Open my little pack lunch, got a little biscuit, started eating it. The next minute, I hear, Hannah, what do you think this is? Have a break, have a Kit Kat. <laughs> and I thought, what? So it just smiles like this. And she went, Hannah, do you need to go and see a doctor? And I thought, what? And she went, because you shouldn't be smiling in school. Right, I don't know what's more awful, the story or the accent, but if there's any accent coaches in, Hit me up at the bar because I need help because I can just about speak Scouse, never mind English. So if you just want it all out me out, I'll be buzzing with that. Right. Bit sad now. Me nan, me best mate. May she rest in peace. Passed away a couple of years ago. And um, I was fortunate enough to say a couple of words at a wedding. She wasn't a wedding. I mean funeral. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Funeral, sorry, so I got asked, God, don't be so morbid. I only spoke at a funeral. Anyway, said a couple of words at a funeral anyway. So I am, um, I takes to the pew, taps the box. She's dead, so she can't really hear me. But I am, um, and I just said, I, s I got up and I said, you know what, at the funeral, at the funeral, me nan had a lovely life. There was loads of people there. And I said, me nan used to love going the caravan because we go the caravan, we go in the slot machines, win loads of money, but she used to love going the market to buy those sloggy collection bras. You know the new sloggy bras? Me nan would buy the works. And because I said bras in church, I went, bloody hell! Because I flapped. And then I could see the pre stars burning at the back of my head. And I was thinking, I've just said bloody hell, but it's all right because the blood's in the wine. And I was like, oh, I was like, fucking hell, I've just swore at me nan's funeral! And I was like, oh! And then the priest, I just like was like, I had to apologise and I walked off. And the priest, he just come over to me, right, as I was walking, and he went, I'll see you at confession. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. I've been Hannah Raleigh. Enjoy your Monday. Have a <laughs>